Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Azelf. Azelf is a very cool one, it's a very good lead. Um, I've seen it lead quite a few times, um, purely because it can set up self rocks, it can knock off, um, it can explode if you're expecting, if you if a mon that you really don't want to deal with leads and takes you down to your sash, you can explode. So honestly, yeah, I, I really, really like the look of this first set. This first set is... Um, focus Sash Levitate. Levitate is the only ability that um, Azelf gets, but it's a really good ability because obviously you've got an immunity to ground types, which you wouldn't have otherwise. Focus Sash, um, you generally, your defences aren't amazing, so Focus Sash works really well, especially if something's going to come in first turn and knock off because they're expecting you to um, be sashed, or not be sashed, they're expecting you to uh, be lead with Azelf. Uh, you've got Self Rocks to set up your rocks because hazards are hugely important in a lot of matches. Um, Stops a lot of switches and stuff as well, uh, which can be problematic. Uh, Zen Headbutt is a strong psychic type attack, it's boosted by stab, so yeah, that's why I have it on there. Knock off to get rid of items, because getting rid of items can actually be crucial in games, as well as being fast on a lot of ghost types and being able to hit them super effective. Uh, generally, ghost types don't have very good defense um, on just like, the general note, so you're probably going to be one or two hit KOing them. Uh, explosion just for things that you don't want to have to deal with. Um, so things like, I don't know, say Dragonite comes in or something and you've got the chip damage on the Stealth Rocks and then you just explode on it. Uh, that's going to be doing a heck of a lot of damage. Could even take it out depending on the spread. I'm, I'm not sure because I haven't actually looked it up. But yeah, that's kind of my thought process here. Uh, EVs, we've got max attack and max speed with a jolly nature so more speed and less special attack. Just ensuring you're out, out speeding things um, that are like base 100, uh, 100 to 105. Uh, and then four EVs and special defense, just making that special defense a little bit better. Um, but yeah, the idea of this thing is mostly a suicide lead. But if you need, to, if you can conserve it, conserve it. Like if you get stealth rocks off first turn, they switch out or something. Um, obviously, there's no point in just doing your suicide lead, so you can go back in, um, come back in a little bit later on. And the second set we have is a Psychium Z sex. I thought you know this thing could be boosted up pretty well with a psychic type attack. Uh, so we've got Power Up Punch, Zen Headbutt, Ice Punch, and U-Turn. Uh, Power Up Punch obviously increasing your attack up a little bit each turn. Um, to 1.5, and then to 2, then to 2.5, and so on, up to 4 times. Um, and can hit things like Dark Types that you don't really want to deal with. Uh, Zen Headbutt is a really strong, obviously, stab Psychic move, has a chance to flinch. And it is powered up by the Psychic MZ to do Shattered Psyche, which will do a lot of damage to most things. Obviously be cautious if there's a Dark Type about, because that could always come in. Ice Punch to hit things like Dragon Types, to hit um, Grass Types, to hit Flying Types. Uh, ice is just generally a pretty good coverage move to have. And U-Turn, just in case you need to get out of there, even if you set up like two or three Power Up Punches, but something really bad comes in, but it's quite slow, or like a Dark Type comes in, you can U-Turn and get out of there, and still like do a lot of damage to that, and then come in later on. Um, so honestly, like I, thought, I like having U-Turn on here. It gives you kind of the priority getting out of there and getting some damage off on things, uh, which I really like having. EVs, we've got max attack and max speed with a jolly nature, so more speed and less special attack and four EVs and special defense. So I think that's exactly the same as the one that was before. But yeah, the, the idea is set up a power up punch or two and then go to town, uh, use your sea crystal when it's necessary. Uh, but do make sure you calc it right, because the amount of times that I've calced it kind of slightly wrong uh, and I, it's kind of come down to a roll and I've got a low roll. So do be cautious there. Anyways, that is it for Azelf. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so I hope it's a good one, and I'll see you soon.